Today we'll be showing you how you can configure the Sega J-Link GDB software for use with Visual Micro on the Arduino Duet board in this example. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and if you want to see any further feature updates in the future. So first we've got the Sega software installed on our PC and we've plugged in our J-Link so we're going to need to check what driver we've got installed. So here we can see that we're using the Sega driver so we're okay but if you have used your Sega in Visual Micro you'll need to go into the USB driver folder and run the inst drivers program to put the driver back to be the Sega J-Link version. So once we've done that we can now go and open our J-Link GDB server as we've got the, the J-Link plugged in and this is just so that we can configure the target device and any other settings that we may need. So as you can see there's a, a vast variety of compatible devices with the Sega J-Link so you just need to select the appropriate one which we have here for our Arduino Duo and select any other options and we'll leave this open in the background as we'll need to copy this command line option for use in Visual Micro as well as the path to where you've got your Sega software installed on your PC. So leave those windows open because we'll come back to those shortly. So then in Visual Studio we've just got a simple blink sketch open and we've set up our board and COM port for the Arduino Duet. We're going to want to enable the hardware debugging for the Sega J-Link initially with all the relevant optimization and we're going to build and upload our code just through the USB at this point onto our board. So there's some additional links in the output when you select your debugger if you do need any more information on the wiring or connections physically between your board and the debugger. And there we go, our upload is now completed. So if we just try and attach the debugger at this point this will allow us to copy the uh, configuration so we know we've put the driver back so it won't work with Visual Micro at present but if we go to the micro build output window with the boson on the upload option you'll see there's a JSON output which we'll need to copy and we can see in that output that it's configured to use OpenOCD which is what we're trying to change here to use the Sega J-Link software. So if you just copy the body of that JSON between the two curly braces and then you can go to the Visual Micro Add Code menu or toolbar depending on how you've got this set up and go Add Custom GDB Debugger and this will add a couple of files to your project. The one we're interested in here is the debugger launch JSON and we're going to replace the body of this file with what we copied from our output window. So this at the moment mirrors the Visual Micro configuration for our project but we're going to want to replace OpenOCD in the debug server path option. So this will be replaced with the path to your Sega J-Link folder. So if we just paste that in and it will automatically escape the backslashes with double backslash for you you'll just need to add another one on the end and then we can also take the name of the exe we wish to run which is the JLink GDB server and append that. We'll also then need to take all of the command line options which we configured and put those into the debug server args section in the double quotes and then finally the MI debugger server address will also need to be changed so as default OpenOCD runs on all the threes but here it may be different so if we just start up the Sega J-Link software and actually attach to our debugger you'll get a couple of windows open as you can see here and if we just scroll to the top of the output this will show us the GDB server listening port as 2331 so that's what we'll need to change our configuration to so we'll just simply replace the port with that and press save and that's it we've reconfigured this to use the J-Link software so if we just change the option to manual or custom to use our JSON file and set a breakpoint in our sketch 
we can now press attach to process. As you can see this has loaded the Jlink software and connected Visual Micro to it and allowed our debugging to continue as normal in Visual Studio but actually using the Sega Jlink software underneath. So this is an alternative to using OpenOCD and means you won't have to update the drivers in any way. And if we continue you can see the output in the Sega Jlink software. So hopefully this is useful if you do want to stick with the Sega J-Link drivers without moving over to the OpenOCD drivers.